Hi. I'm Nick and I'm the CEO of LED Inspirations and today I'm here to introduce our new Zeus HD connector. What makes this connector so special are the gold plated pogo pin contacts. These contacts are spring loaded and they keep constant pressure on the circuit board. So if there's any movement, any vibration, if the circuit board were to expand or contract with heat and cold, the spring-loaded contacts keep constant pressure on the board, ensuring a long-lasting, high-quality, failure-free connection. Let's look at how to install the Zeus HD connector. Our connectors come with 10 feet of lead wire, although you can custom make it with a longer length if you need. And this is in-wall rated wire. This is CL2 wire, and you can also upgrade this to a plenum rated CL3P wire if you're going up above a ceiling in a commercial job. Let's look at how the connector works. The Zeus connector is made up of two parts. The top is called the cap, the bottom part is called the tray, and they lock together. So the first thing we need to do to open it is to unlock it, so I'm going to hold the wire firmly with my left hand, and I'm going to push back on the tray this way to unlock it. So when I push this back, you're going to hear a little click. And then, it, and then the tray can open. And so to close it, you just reverse that process. I'm going to close up the tray and I'm going to pull the tray forward and push back with my thumb on the cap and it locks closed. So let's go ahead and open it and we're going to install some tape light in it. So we're going to open that up. Now our V5 products have polarity, which means you need to put the connector on the right end of the tape light. So if you hold the connector in your left hand and you hold the tape light in your right hand so you can read the words, then you know that it's oriented properly. When you do that, then these wires, the red wire will connect to plus 24 volts on the driver and the black wire will connect to minus 24 volts. Should you need to put the connector on the other end of the tape light, it'll work. You'll just need to reverse these wires on the driver. So let's go ahead and install this. We're going to pull back the red 3M VHB tape. We're going to peel that back and we're going to place it into the tray. Notice the tray has a little bit of a stop and back and it's got these two wings to center the tape light in between. So I'm going to place the tape light in the, in the tray up against the stop and then I'm going to center it between the wings. I'm going to press down on it for a secure connection and then I'm going to close this down. I'm going to push the cap back and you might have heard it click in place, that is now a permanent connector installation. Because it has polarity, you also have to use, uh, keep that in mind if you're using an extension cable, this is one of our four inch extensions. So if I were gonna add on to this run using an extension cable, I would put this on this side and open up the connector and put it there. And then the next piece of tape light that would go on this end would also need to be oriented with the words in the upright position so that this would connect on here and then that would light as well. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, you can feel free to call us or just visit our website.